the difference between the organic food and the non-organic food, the junk food and the natural food. <laughs> when you go to the gym, you go to the karate class, you go to the sports academy, you go for games, then it becomes junk food. When you does your homework at home, they're cleaning the house, washing the clothes with your own hands, and singing a song, you become the base junior, senior, and then you go, go to the, the cinema most of your singing, you develop your beautiful song and that creates the Raga Thala Pallavi and once you do that your breathing problems are sorted out. When you clean the house and when you do the electrical pumping, sanitary, mason, carpentry, you did the five sense of feel, smell, taste, touch and see. You have created that organic beautiful body and from there you can always penetrate deeper to find out like the Kaisen, every one day there is an instrument in the house, save, you have already saved. Then to spend if you want it, then you can go to the junk food, gymnasium. Or you can go to the sports arena because you have a little time to see what is happening over there. But people who have not done their homework over here, <laughs> then they will not understand the power of their body. Like when children are feeling very dull, we tell them, please rub like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around the eyelid, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then the nose and then the ears, one, two, and within seconds they look very bright, they do not have to go to the beauty parlor, <laughs> they do not have to feel small small things does help that is organic when compared to the junk food when you have cold and you rush up to the doctor to take medicines junk food it's not organic but when you have the cold you close the left nostril and you breathe it you breathe through your right nostril for five full minutes you can immediately see the cold is gone and you start sweating <laughs> When you cannot pass your motion, you go take your medicines and you find out what went wrong. Then you go to the doctor, it becomes not organic, it becomes junk. But when in the house, you know, you bounce, you do your housework alone, you can see it's cleansed up and you always, every one hour you lock your hands like that. You stretch it up and look upwards and you see the body straighten up every one hour you can see there is no constipation problems at all because you know what to eat you know the body needs first vegetables and fruits you don't eat fruits after your meals you don't drink water along with your meals half an hour before these are organic things the 20th story from the gateless gate from the book Zen Flesh Zen Buddhas written by Paul Tripp's Enlightened Man. Shogun asks, why does the enlightened man not stand on his feet and explain himself? <laughs> because flowing water is fresh water, stagnant water stinks. The moment you stand and you try to explain, it is like the centipede, you ask the centipede, centipede, you have thousand legs. How are you walking with a thousand legs? Whether you are keeping your right leg or the left leg finished, send if you looked into his leg and collapsed it seems. When look into your power and you stand and try to explain your power, it is gone. Your power is not to be explained, it has to be put into practice. And you can see every one step, you can see the path is opening, 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 richness because you become more observant when you practice at home when then when you go to the gymnasium you have a six pack skeletal muscle no visceral no subcutaneous fat practicing at home with 
with not alone which your if you are married with your wife otherwise with your parents if you are a family your wife your husband and the children together a family which sits together eats together prays together grows together from there you understand the kapalupadi you can find out the stomach life and death is from the stomach you your wife your husband your children together when they practice the kapalupadi you can find the carbonic pushed out fresh oxygen goes inside when the stomach becomes very strong you do not have the bloated stomach no gastric problem at all Yes, it will become very strong, and it is very good for the diabetic patients, the stomach pumping, the kapalapadi, and for the thyroid members. And then you can see the urinary bladder has become very strong. You do not have urinary problems because when you are jumping and you drink all the works, you automatically you drink water, and water flushes it out, and you pump it. The yeah, urinary bladder becomes strong. The sexual organs become very strong. and when that is very strong the whole body is very strong simple like 